always have passed Time to be thirsty Beer 30 Stuffing my face With biscuits and gravy Mother-in-law Driving me crazy Starting to make me Nervous and shaky The Yeti's in the truck bed's ready to save me It's never too late it's never too early, it's always half past Time to be thirsty Beer 30 Hey y'all, welcome to this week's episode of Beer 30 with my special guest, Lewis Bryce. I'm going to kick this week's episode off with my song, Rowdy as Randall. See you in a few.
see y'all over on the couch. Beer 30. Hey y'all, Adam Warner here. On this week's episode of Beer 30, I got my good buddy Lewis Bryce with me. Lewis? Oh man. Welcome to Beer 30, brother. Glad to be here. Cheers. Cheers. Bro. Yeah, How you man. been? It's been a long time no see. Oh man, it's been it's been too long, too long. Uh, thanks for having me out. Absolutely, man. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Heck yeah, man. Anytime to get to hang out with you always a good time. Always, so. always, man. How's uh How's the new norm for you, if you want to call that? Oh, man, the new norm of, of playing to computer screens right. and stuff like that. <laughs> Zoom calls. Oh, boy. And, Zoom uh, rights. Zoom rights, writing through uh, TV. and uh, It's it's you know it's different. It's definitely different. Um, I, I, I feel like I've adapted to it well. Yeah. Uh, when I, as, soon as, as soon as everything kind of shut down and nobody was playing live music, I was like, mm. man, I don't want to stop. I just had the thirst for playing live music. Oh, man, I can feel and, it. So I was like, you know what? Why not? You know, as soon as it happened, I was like, I'm just gonna do a live show on Facebook. Just go ahead and start doing it. And I started it, and I was like, all right, I got a pretty decent reaction. And yeah. all my new fans are like, oh my gosh! And everybody was saying, dude, thank you so much for playing. I know it's only been a week, but we're afraid of it. We're gonna lose music forever. So yeah. uh, I started doing it, and then I was like, about two weeks in, I was like, man, people are starting to tune in more and more. And then I started, well, I, I want to actually start to make it something. So I actually did it every, every Monday. I did yeah. a happy hour, uh, happy hour jams from like five to six. Oh, yeah. I've tuned into a few of those, man. Oh, thank you, man. I yeah, appreciate awesome. it. awesome. You're doing yeah. good. I love it. And it's cool, and like more and more of them, I, mean, I still do it. I'm gonna keep on continue doing. It. Even if live music gets back full throttle, I'll probably still do it because, awesome. man, the fans I found out more like they're online. Like you have, that's an access. That's a channel for us to get for our fans to get to know us and. Yeah. And so every week there's something different in my world, you know. Where there's, you know, even I know we've been slow, no live music actually playing outside in front of people. But uh, musically wise, we've had a good year, and so everything kind of changes from week to week. And yeah. and also there's been some shows that have changed from week to week. You're like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. play this weekend, play this weekend, and all of a sudden, bam, you don't get to play this. Week. So, <laughs> I know that's right, yeah. man. But hey, for the people at home, I know a lot about you. I know where you're from. But if somebody's been living in the cave for the last. I don't know, five years or something, might not know who you are. Tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and what brought you What brought you to Nashville? Well, cool. Well, y'all, I am Lewis Bryce. Uh, I am from Sumter, South Carolina. I've been in Nashville for a little while. I don't like telling that. I might tell my age. You know what it's here. <laughs> face. I'm trying to stay lean. I know, you know? man. I, I mean, when you're, when you're you, I mean, we're turning 27 this year, yeah, so we got to yeah. take care yeah, of ourselves. Yeah, mid-20s are great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been natural for a little while. Uh, been writing music and I sing music. I tour around the world. Uh, mm. I can say around the world. I went to Europe last year. Yes, for the you first did. Time. That's so, awesome, man. It was cool. Uh, I went, went over there and actually for the first time, I, I went over that summer. I played a Buckle and Boots Festival. Yeah. And um, uh, over, the, over there in England. And so I played that one festival and my music, I guess, got around to the world and they started the, the British CMAs over there. Yeah. And so a couple months later, I get a phone call. I say, hey, man, you just got nominated alongside, like, Luke Combs, Mary Morris, Blake wow. Shelton for, like, International Song of the Year with my song, Blessed. Nice. And so um, I was like, all right, cool. I said, would you want to come back over just, you know, you know, if, if you happen to win? I said, well, I mean, you know, we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, I ended up winning International Song of the Year. So man, congratulations. So that, that, that's crazy. That's, that's a, a song, huge honor. And, and that's a song, Blessed, we put out probably about two years ago. Yeah. Um, uh, like I said, I've been putting out music for probably over the past five or six years, like you said. And, um, and we were just talking earlier, too. Blessed, uh, I was wrong, but now Blessed is at 10, uh, 10 million streams? No, that's it's you. But it's Blessed you? is 8.4 million. 8.4 so yeah, million streams, so. y'all. So go check Blessed out if you haven't heard it. That's on what, all platforms, all Spotify, platforms. iTunes, Google Play, all those good places. Pandora, Pandora. Amazon, all the stuff. Make sure so. y'all are going to check that out. And speaking of Blessed... Uh, I got Lewis that's going to perform Blessed for us, so we're going to get Lewis up on the stage, perform this song for y'all, and then we'll be right back. Every day 
Hey, y'all, we're back on the couch. It's Beer 30. That boy can sing. <laughs> man, that's a great song. Oh, I love that. I that's, appreciate you, man. That's great. I love that, man. And um, I always like to follow up after the performance with this question. I ask all my friends. Um, I got mine. Everybody has one. But up to this point in music, what, what has been your oh shit or holy <laughs> shit moment where you're just like, I can't believe that I'm doing this right now? Well, being from a small town, yeah. Sumter, South Carolina, uh, I've had quite a few because I've have been in front of some great moments in my life. Uh, one of the biggest ones, I can, my very first one, I believe, um, there was a show. I was with my brother in Maine, uh, yeah. somewhere way up there, Maine State Piers where we're at. Wow. And I come walking out there, and it was me and my guitar. And all of a sudden, as far as I could see, it was a sea of people. Like, and it must have been, I think it was like around 20,000 people. You were acoustic? Acoustic by myself, 20,000 people. I was like... Yeah. That right there, I was like, wow. I mean, I could just feel the energy coming. Yeah, back. absolutely. And, and that moment, I was like, oh, that's when I was, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, don't, don't mess up. Or there are a lot of people <laughs> going to hear it. But either way, that yeah. was a, you know, that was a huge, huge moment in my life. That's and, awesome. Uh, and I've had a few few more of those. But really, a new thing that we got going. I got a couple of new things. Uh, it's You, just uh, one of my songs we put out earlier this yep. year. Uh, we got on the Hot Country Playlist on Spotify. And that's jumped up over around 10 and a half million 10 streams. and a half million. So, yeah, that's the one I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing that. And then kind of going forward, I'm about to have. Uh, literally uh, earlier today I just wrote today and um, I, uh, we had a song with a, I'm doing a song with a, you know the group Nine Days oh yeah you know the story of a girl oh yeah crying around and around well that song I'm actually recutting that song this year right. crazy enough is the 20th year anniversary of that song coming out that doesn't seem possible but yeah know, that's right? crazy yeah. I love that song that's awesome you get to, so are you uh, cutting it by yourself or are they gonna well, feature or? what's cool is like uh, he uh, John came into town and so he came to he's gonna feature him on the song as well so Dang, I'm, I'm gonna man. recut it as Lewis Bryce yeah and, and but he's gonna come in and uh, feature feature him on maybe sing a verse or some harmonies and stuff like that so man that's man, awesome that's I can't like, wait to hear that one I mean everybody knows that song yeah, for me every, it's an iconic I mean, it's, rock band yeah so. absolutely yeah it's one of those that, that's a new one coming up soon that's awesome man that's great news so y'all make sure to tune in to Lewis on that one uh, all social media platforms are just at Lewis Bryce, right? Yep, at Lewis Bryce. So y'all can follow him there. And then again, I'm sure the song will be on all platforms as well, across streaming and uh, iTunes. So make sure y'all pre... When's that come out? Do you know yet? I don't know. We had to set a release date, but it'll definitely be within the next few months. Okay. Well, make so. sure y'all stay tuned to that. So we got another song for you. What are we going to do this time? I think we're going to do It's You. We just it's you. About it, you know? We got it. 10 million plus streams, y'all. We're going to get Lewis back up on stage. Here it's you. I 
just ought to be a rambling man Living in the moment, never making plans Finding love was just a dream I was having Written in the movies, never thought it would happen Try to fill my loneliness with the whiskey Empty nights and living girls and never missed me Funny how when you least expect it Everything could change Baby, it's you I've been looking for I knew right from the second You came walking through that door It feels so right When you're in my arms Darling, it's you I've been looking for You know I love it when your hair's a mess The way you shine when you wear that dress Girl, I don't think that you understand You make me a better man Baby, it's you Came walking through that door It feels so right When you're in my arms Darling, it's you Who I've been looking for Just like blue on the sea Our love won't fade as evergreen Girl, the best part of me is you Baby, it's you I've been looking for I knew right from the second You came walking through that door It feels so right when you're in my arms, darling, it's you I've been looking for. Mm -hmm. Darling, it's you I've been looking for. Hey y'all, we're back again, man. I appreciate you so much for coming on the show. I love your music. You can sing your at, your butt off. <laughs> Try to cut that back a little bit. But uh, man, it, it was great to be and hang with you. Uh, before we get out of here, though, I know I know some about you. I, yeah. We but we both like fishing. But other than music, what are some things that that you do that some people might not know about? Well, you know, because I am, you know, I am. I've been known to be like more of the city kind of like dressing, kind of nicer dressing person. But yeah. if you don't know, I, I, I'm, I love hunting and I love fishing. Oh, yeah. And hunting season is coming up right around the corner. So I was so excited about getting up at 3.30 a.m. to go sit in a tree from whenever yeah. there to all day long. I got a few hunting trips coming up this year. That's awesome. Between that and grilling, man, I, I could I could smoke a brisket for 18 hours. Now, I will, I'll be a witness to that because mm -hmm. when we had that, uh, <laughs> or you had that UFC fight, we came mm -hmm. over. Bro, I ate myself into a coma over at your place. That's my goal. Whenever I somebody, we have a good cookout, I got yeah. my smoker all going. I'll cook, I'll smoke things for for hours oh, on end. So. Man, yeah, that was good. You you had some you had some good chow. Yeah. And what you said you were talking about earlier, y'all uh, just restocked your pond or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So earlier this year, uh, uh, my brother he uh, dug out his pond at, 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 his, at his farm, and when uh, we got it big enough, so we got to put fish in there. Yeah. So we didn't have any fish in there. So he was like, man, rather than going out and spinning. Next amount and buying a whole lot of fish, they're probably going to get eaten by the big birds anyway. Right. Let's just go to our friends' ponds and catch all their fish and put them in our pond. That's and, what we do. Uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so we went out one day on his, on his birthday, and we must have caught 70, 80 fish. Oh you know, God, with, yeah, yeah. Within a span of a week, we put about 160 bass <laughs> in, in, in his pond, not to mention some crappie and some bluegill. Oh, yeah. But, but it's, uh, his pond has definitely got a plethora of fishing and out and they were spawning yeah. at the time so, oh, yeah. so now I'm, I'm, we're already seeing little bass swimming around that's so. awesome man yeah we're gonna have to come out there and get so them. i guess i'm now a, a fish stock ponder so any ponds out there if you need me to catch them I got he's it. your guy 
Well, y'all, thank you so much. Lewis, thank you so much for being on the I show. I appreciate you, man. Man, absolutely. Anytime we'll have to get together. We got a Tyson fight coming up soon. So I Roy Jones Jr. Tyson, I, I, I think Roy's got a, got, a, got a problem on his hand. I do too. Up, so. Tyson looks mean. But thank you all so much for tuning in to Beer 30. I'm Adam Warner. This is Lewis Bryce. All right, y'all. I'm going to kick the second part off with a little Brothers Osborne for you. Thank y'all again for hanging out with us for this episode of Beer 30. And uh, I'd like to take a chance to introduce y'all to my band. I got Aaron Martin over here on lead guitar and acoustic. My buddy Eric Roberts back here tickling the keys. Hey. Skipping Ben Wood on the drums. Right to, <laughs> my buddy Ben Wood back here on the drums. Musical director, that is. <laughs> and my little son over here, Nick Huff. Babyface Huff is his mafia name. But thanks again for joining us. 
Like every Beer 30, we end with the theme song of Beer 30, which can be found on Spotify and iTunes if you like it. But uh, every Monday at 630 is Beer 30. So we'll see y'all next time. And again, thank you to my good friend, Lewis Bryce, for being on the show. We'll see y'all next week. Stop by the bar about noon today. They said happy hour is five hours away. Hit the quick sack out back, but I was okay. Cause it's 2430s in every day. It's never too late. It's never too early. It's always half past. Time to be thirsty. Bear 30. In my face with biscuits and gravy, mother in law driving me crazy, starting to make me nervous and shaky. The Yeti's in the truck bed, ready to save me. It's never too late, it's never too early, it's always half past. Time to be thirsty. Bear 30. Between seven and five Early bird A graveyard shifter It's never work With a spirit lifter Pop a silver top Get your taste buds pickled While wait for the whistle To wet your whistle It's never too late It's never too early It's always half past Time to be thirsty Bear 30 Anywhere and everywhere Anytime is chiller time Miss the minute hand Can be your friend When you sit between seven and five It's never too late it's never too early, it's always half past. Time to be thirsty. Beer 30. Mm. Beer 30. I think I will have me a little cold one. Mm. Thank y'all again for joining us for Beer 30. I'll see you next Monday at 6.30. Because every Monday at 6.30 is beer 30. <laughs>